Hi guys, Makeway Standard Pack unboxing. R3 Standard. Let's open it and see what's inside. Here's a bag, manual, and all the fun parts. Let's put it all out. Okay, so we got here a bag for the marbles. You have here all the basic connectors. We'll put them in the bag. Okay, hinge connectors in the bag. Now here are the rails. Let's remove them from the board. These are the straight rails. Three, four. These are the rails. R3 all goes inside. So how do we connect Makeway? This is a basic connector or BC, and this is the rail. You have a groove in the rail, and you put this part, you just push it in, and now it's connected. There's a magnetic part on here that will be connected to the board. This is how you connect every single rail. You can also use one connector to connect two rails in the middle, like so. You connect one here and one there. And now you don't need to use two connectors for each rail. Now let's start building a course. Stage one, let's put the basic connectors on the wall. Okay, this is enough to start with. Let's connect now the straight rail to the connectors. One on each side, one on here and one on here. We already have a rail. The marble goes between the rail and the board behind it. Let's check it with the marble. Now let's add more rails. Now we can already start to set a course. Now we need to adjust it a bit to tweak the course so the marble won't fall out of the course. Still a bit too tilted. Let's do it like so. Okay. Now let's use the stairs. You can use the same connector for two rails. Let's try this. A tip, don't make the slope too steep. If it will go like this, the marble will go too fast and it will fall off the course. Also, the fun part is when you have a marble that goes on the rail. So try to make it a bit more shallow. Something like this. Okay, this is better. Let's add a curve. Make the curve straight. Also the stairs, try to make them straight. The marble will go all the way from one side to another. Too much. Still too much. Too fast. Great, let's add some tricks. Take the hinge connector that you see here and let's connect some tricks to it. Take the spinner now, same thing with the connector. And now we have a spinner ready to use. With a spinner. Now we have a spinner. Take the bell here and just simply connect it. This is ready. Let's add the bill. Yeah. Let's put it here. Better. The pole. We use a pole with a marble on the edge. Let's take basic connector. Let's put it for now, middle hole. You can later on try using the other holes and experiment what happened. This is a pole ready to use. Now let's add a pole. You can connect it in several ways. I'm connecting it here in the middle right now. And let's see what happens now. If you use the first hole, you will need two marbles. So let's use a pole now with the upper hole. We'll add a connector here to hold it in place. Marble one. Marble two. So we have the funnel. You can use it in many ways. First, you can start a course with it. You can also use it 
uh, to collect marbles in the middle or even as an end of a course. For example, you can put it here uh, with a basic connector here. Let's see how it goes. Great. You can also use a straight rail to stop the marbles from falling. Now the fork, this part. Make sure you connect it right. Align this as the two small holes that you see here are facing upwards. Not like this, put, it, put them upwards, this way. And then you take the fork with this part facing down and just connect it like this. This is the only correct fork to connect the... Make sure that the two holes are from the sides, just like here. Pay attention how you connect it like so okay now let's put it here let's try it out first marble second marble which is actually a fork in the road to alternate between the ways we have two other end pieces one is an edge piece here this is the edge you put in the edge of the rail and this is how you connect it this part of the connector should touch this part of the edge just like so. And when you take a straight rail, you connect it here. And then when you go from one rail to another, the marbles won't fall off the course. This is the correct way to connect it. Make sure you're not making any mistakes. And now you can put two rails, one above the other. This is one option. Another option between two rails is to use this part, the U-turn. This is the part that is called U-turn. We connect it like so, and one more connector from below. This is how you connect the U-turn. You can use it to the right or to the left. It's a really nice and easy part to use. So this is a flex, obviously it's flexible. You can connect connectors here, on the other side, and if needed, in the middle, anywhere you want. And you can use it at any desired shape. This is a catapult. It shoots the marble. You press it down to load it, and then it locks, and then the marble goes down and triggers it like so, and shoots it forward. The catapult, again, you trigger it just like so. There's magnets over here and over there, you can use it to the left or to the right. As you can see, you pull it down to trigger it. Another marble. Nice. You can use it also to the other way, just by turning it. Or back again. Like so. Another marble. This is a switch. When marble falls down, preferably from a funnel, it goes to the right and to the left, alternating the marbles, one to the right and one to the left. This is how you connect it. You take the switch, you take the rail, and you put it like so. You hear the click, it's connected firmly. Now the switch is working. Now it's connected. We want the switch to take one marble to the right and one to the left and so on. So we want the marble to fall straight in the middle. This is why we usually use a funnel above it. One to the left, one to the right, another one to the left, and another one to the right. This is a starter. This part goes on the board, the side with the rubber. And as you turn them, you release one by one. And a funnel can go on the top of it. As I'll show later on the board, it could go like so. This is how it goes. This, so this is a starter, and you can connect a straight rail here like so. This is how you connect a straight rail to the starter. This is a flip. You connect it to a rail, to a straight rail, just by pressing it down. And then when marble comes, it releases the trigger like so. Over here, you can see the starter. Usually we'll use a funnel above it. We can connect here any rails that we want. You don't need another connector. And you can load now 
the funnel with marbles and you turn it counterclockwise. Over here you see the flip which releases one by one. Okay, so this is a cannon. And we have two different ways to use it. This is the first way. We first, we load it. We press on it, make sure not to move any other parts. So there is marble waiting here. When you trigger the cannon, make sure that the ball bearing, the metal ball is shown on, the, on this side. If it won't, to look like this, this is not triggered. You need to make sure that you press on it and you see the marble waiting. And then when your last marble hits this marble, this is what happens. This is what triggers the cannon to shoot. So make sure, again, when you press the trigger, make sure you see the ball bearing, the metal ball waiting. After we load it by pressing this, we put a marble here, and then we load the starter with marbles, and let's roll. Works nicely. Again, we load it. Oops, let's connect it again. We put a marble here. Let's roll. Nice. We can add a spinner here. It would be more fun. We put a marble again. We load it. We add a marble somewhere here. Nice. One more. Let's load it. Oops. Another way to use a cannon is to the other direction. If I put a marble here and I press it, it will trigger it like a starter. And you can use both directions in both ways. You can twist it like this and turn the direction. We have the U-turn parts. We have the round parts. Let's see how they connect. One connector here, one connector there. And this part can go around all kinds of obstacles on your wall. If you have wires or it can go around the spinner or other parts as well. It's a very useful part. two spirals you connect them like so very easy you can connect one to the other to make a very long lift it connects to the motor you need to put 9 volt battery inside and you connect it like so this is a power button we need to add the battery over here you have this part Make sure you have the flipping part over here. You connect it this way. So I connect the left. And also you have a clip that holds and I'll show how you connect it. You take a straight rail. You can connect it here. And now you put this part. Now the lift is ready to be used. This is how a similar lift look like. Again, you have spirals. If you want the lift to send the marble to the right side, you add a lift end. That's the end of it. Take care. This will send the marble to the right. These are all the parts of the lift. This is an assembled lift. Okay, so now we will discuss how to connect the lift to our marble course. So first of all, we will add three connectors, basic connectors on the bottom. To make sure the lift is connected sturdy and it's been held strong enough to hold the lift. So this is how we connect it. Then we add the spirals. Let's start with um, two spirals. We connect them like so, and we put them on the shaft. Make sure you have a shaft on the bottom. Okay, so now we have two spirals here. At the end, we have a spiral end. We'll take the marble to the right. Okay, now we will add what we call the lift start. Make sure that with the lift start, you have some kind of a wing here that can move. You connect it to this part. 
This is how you connect it. Then you connect a straight rail over here. You push it inside. We will add one connector to hold this in place. We will add one clip like so. Okay, now the spiral is secured with this, the clip. So this rail is secured. Everything seems okay. We will put a marble and we'll see how it goes. Let's put a marble over here. We'll turn it on. Seems like the lift is working okay. Then we can add, uh, let's say we'll use this one. And here we can use a U-turn over here. And here we can add another freight rail over here. Yeah, let's see how this one works. Oops. Let's add a connector here to avoid this to happen again. Something like that. This keeps getting disconnected. We'll add one more connector here, keep it in place. Now we can add more marbles. We can add now a bill. Let's add a bill here. Yeah. One more spiral here. 